This video is made for my friend Allison Purdy to answer her question about how to display a video in Moodle. Here goes, Allison. Um, for this video, I'm assuming that you have already uploaded to your Moodle file directory the actual movie file uh, that's probably saved as a .mov. Otherwise, that's uh, step number one, and we would need to get in touch about that part. So here's what you do once you, that has occurred. You go under the Add a Resource option after you've turned editing on in Moodle, and you go com Compose a Web Page. You are going to title your web page. So maybe in this case, I'm going to say something about Inspire Video. I'm just making that up. Then I've previously emailed you some code that you're going to need to include in your web page. And so what I will have you do is to click on this icon, which is going to convert your editing window so that you are looking at your HTML code. I'm going to delete what's in there. And then I'm going to paste the code that I have sent you. And as you, as you look at this, the thing I want you to notice is that in two spots, I have this URL that you're going to replace with a real web address. So that occurs there. And it also occurs in this spot. The other thing to, to be attentive of is that your video player window has a size in pixels. 100 pixels approximately is an inch. So right now the default is 6.4 inches by 4.8 and we will pay attention to that as well because your video might actually have a different size to it and so you may need to change those numbers. So once you've put the code in, you can click to go back so that you're just looking at how this displays, which you can't see any much at all. But now the next thing you need to do is you have to find out what is that big long URL for where that video is actually living on the Moodle server. This is how I do it, it's kind of a roundabout way. I just take and I highlight or select one word and I pretend like I'm gonna to link to the video from that one word. I don't actually do it, but I pretend like I'm going to. So if I click here and then I go browse for the actual video and then I go find it in my file directory. So I think I probably have one in here. Let's just say, I'll go in here. Okay, yeah. Oh, I'm going to go back. I'm going to look for an MOV file. All right, there is an MOV file. So if I click on this, there's this long URL. That's the one I want. So I am going to highlight that entire row, and I'm going to copy it, either with the Edit menu and go to Copy, or my keyboard shortcut, which would, cut shortcut, which would be Command-C. Then I'm going to cancel this, because I'm really not doing this thing. I only did it so I could grab that big long URL. So I cancel that. Then I am gonna go into here and look at the code again. And I'm gonna paste my URL in to replace the fake one there. So I'm gonna paste it there, boom. I did that with my keyboard shortcut, Command V. And I also want to paste it, play, I also want to uh, replace it right here mm-hmm I do want an HTTP there by the way so I'm gonna place it right there as well big long URL again I might have to change these numbers and I will email you how you find out the size of the video window or the video that you have so now if I scroll to the bottom and I say save and display this is what we got I got a page that says watch the video below and it loads and displays the video you have saved in your Moodle files. That's it, Allison.